This box was a 10-year project for me. My inspiration was two humidors that were sitting in our factory in Miami. There were post-1990 cigar boom humidors. I couldn't find moody artists where. But when I started with Laborier 12 years ago, I wanted to be able to replicate it. So for literally, during that time, 10 years, I would pick up this project and sketch stuff. I got to a point where I was actually cutting stuff out of paper and pasting stuff mocking them up, and it was like a, like a three-year-old decoupage, right? exactly. And that's actually was one of the names of, of my holding name for this project. What eventually happened is, for you know, for ten years I would pick it up, throw it aside, and then last year I finally got serious because I became obsessed by getting this project. So what I did is I sat down with this great designer who had a great computer program so that I actually could do this on the screen, which, which was a bad, bad set, because had I thought about this ten years earlier, I would have had this done much sooner. But the idea behind this was, you also were not allowed to run the scissors in the office you went over. Yes. <laughs> the computer helped. <laughs> exactly. So, too many humidors look like this, these two, the club size and the Taino size. But what I also wanted to do was I wanted to pay an homage to the Art Deco period. For me, I lived in Miami and I, and I saw a lot of Art Deco, so to me that was the inspiration for the creation of Art Deco. Historically, it's probably not correct, but for me that was another part of the inspiration. So I kind of created that. And then what we did is I also pulled off pieces of the vista of the lady, blew off the guarantee seals, did some art blanks, um, just pulled out the cigar coins and actually and incorporated them into the box. Once we got done with the designs, Tom, I was like, I couldn't pick which one I liked the best. So I said, I'm doing all four. And so this became a collector series. Each of the sizes are the same blends. It's just each front mark I thought was. I wanted that. Then the cigar. The cigar was a two year project for us. And this is called the Artisano's Retro Especial. And it's the idea behind this cigar is 70% of the flavor comes from the wrapper. I wanted to do the opposite of that. I wanted to get 70% of the flavor from the fillers and binders. And if you think about it, to be able to have five different blends inside a blend and the, and the wrapper dominates it to me was kind of kind of ludicrous, but it's true. So for us to be able to do that, we tried 24 different wrappers over two years and the wrappers kept dominating it. And so we developed this, this wrapper, a general cigar called a Honduran Connecticut, which is a crossbreed between a Connecticut seed and a Honduran seed, grown in Honduras. So what it does is... Under, no, it's a Sangra. Sangra. And what happens is, Tom, is you get this beautiful gold brown wrapper, gives you a, little, a lot of aroma, a bouquet, and a little bit of sea salt flavor. But the most compelling part about this cigar, it actually allows the fillers and binders to be expressed that much more. So you've got a double binder of Nicaraguan and Mexican, which we've not used Mexican tobacco in all of them. And you've got Dominican, um, Nicaraguan, Lajeros, and fillers. So the end result of the cigar is when you smoke this, what you're going to get is you're going to taste the five different leaves that, that are pushing the flavor to fill us in the binders. And the wrappers have been out for a long time. This is a six to seven dollar suggested retail without taxes and keystone. Um, four sizes. These cigars are doing extremely well. We launched this uh, at the end of September, and it's only been out for two months, and we're getting to a point where we're in a back order situation, but we're going to clear that up. Um, and that tells me this cigar is doing very well. But again, this cigar is 100 Connecticut, so I've never heard of the wrapper until we developed it, and you won't hear about this wrapper in the marketplace because it's something that we developed and it's proprietary to us. This is a home run. This has been a home run since day one. Thank you. Um, you really have to touch this package to realize it's not inlaid wood. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's exactly. Looks really, like it's graphic. It's, it's paper on, on, on cedar. It's, um, they did just really a superb job. Uh, a lot of times, the cigar doesn't doesn't stand up to a great package like this. But in, in this in this instance, the cigar we smoked a few of them um, since we've been uh, together the last few days, and it's just delicious. It's a, any time of day cigar, exactly. in my opinion. And um, what's unique about this, Tom, is, again, what's happened is it's, it's actually broken down their mold of La Gloria smokers. There's other folks that that typically don't smoke a La Gloria product that now have gravitated towards this as their liaison into the brand, which is kind of fascinating to me. That this is something that they, that's enjoyable to them and actually is going to get them on the path to try white box and Siri Arc so. so this is one of those cigars that we were able to break out of the typical mold and reach a bigger audience. In a, in a, in a kind of an era where a lot of people have been going 
Bigorini, full of body cigars, extra Lajero cigar. This kind of swings against that tie, um, which I think is good because I think that in the market still is the um, dominant, dominant part of the market and it's been a little bit um, overlooked. Okay. And this part, I think, is really, it, it's kind of rewards the, the guy that likes to eat, you know, the medium body, the mild to medium body cigar. You know, he's got something special, he's got something that people put a lot of extra time and attention in. You know, sometimes, like, like what about me type of thing, like the the left curve, and the bus is left, and all those full body plus guys are going their way. It's, it's nice that, uh, that this is available. Well, again, <laughs> you're talking medium body and mild. To me, it's flavor. It's got lots of flavor. And it's a flavor that um, is enjoyable, and it's not so flavorful that it's, it, it's something that it's like your palate's not used to. So, I guess that's what you're talking about. Yeah. My I, I didn't feel like any time we, we smoked these before lunch, right, right. after dinner, exactly. over the course of the last couple of days, and that, that the flavor has stood up right. to the foods and the beverages that we've been enjoying the whole time. And a lot of cigars, they get lost right. in, in, that, in that process when exactly. you're not having, having, having a meal. So, uh, superb product again. Thank, Thank you very much, Mike. Appreciate it. Who's making some?